Have you ever wondered how you can communicate from one Arduino to another over a huge distance? Well, the answer is right over here. This is the RYLR998 LoRa module from React Technologies, and it uses radio frequency to send data from one place to another, and without the loss of any data at all. This module is just so cool, and in this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will teach you how to use one of these for your own project, and along with that, I will tell you the common problems that I had while coding this. Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time watching, then please do leave a like as well I spend lots of effort into making these videos. So let's start coding this module for long-range communications. So these are the steps that we're going to take. Firstly, we're going to connect our LoRa module to our laptop. Secondly, we're going to configure the LoRa module. Thirdly, we'll write the Arduino code for transmitter along with the receiver. And then finally, we're going to test communication and then the ultimate test from a huge distance. All right, so without further ado, let's code our modules. All right, so here we have those amazing LoRa modules that will help us to communicate from far distances. So basically, if one receiver is here, the other transmitter will be there and they can travel and travel and travel and eventually they'll receive the signal. And we're going to connect these to Arduinos. And this type of communication can be called the Internet of Things or also known as IoT. All right, so first step will be to use this TTL converter that will basically help us to configure one that will be the receiver and the other that will be the transceiver. And the transceiving and receiving will be done by our brains over here, but not for now because this is what we need for now. All right, so this is the one that we have. This is from React Technologies and just look at how amazing it is. They also send these wires along with it. These are absolutely gorgeous and amazing. So let's start. All right, so this is how we're going to configure it. Here you'll see the VDD, an RXD, a TXD, and the GND. Now GND is going to go to the GND of that, and our VDD is going to go to a 3.3 volts of this. Now, don't put it at 5 volts because, well, it's not supposed to go to 5 volts at all. This can only support 3.3 volts, and any more than 3.3 volts can actually damage the board and the chip will be fried, so do not put it over 3.3 volts. And our TXT is going to go to the RXT of that, and our RXT will go to the TXT of that. Now, let me show you. So these are the wires we're going to need, the 3.3 volts, the GND, TXT, and RXT. So let's start plugging them in. So here we have the 3.3 volts in this TTL converter, and that is going to go to the VDD of our module. Okay, so then here we have our orange for ground on the TTL converter, and that ground is going to go to the ground of our module right here. So now here we go to the interesting part, the TXT and RXT. Now TXT is to send the data, and our RXT is to receive the data. So considering that our TTL converter's TXT will go to the RXT of our module right here. So here we go, our black is RXT, and then our RXT is going to go to the TXT of this module. Boom. Our RXT on this, which is our maroon wire, is going to go to the RXT of the module. And boom, we've connected it. So here's the connection. And then firstly, after connecting one of the module to the TTL converter, we're going to connect it to the computer. And by doing that, we're going to set our network ID, the radio frequency, and stuff like that. Okay, so let's connect it in and let's start configuring. All right, so now we're onto the computer and now let's start coding. And I'm joking, we're not going to use it, so let's just get rid of it. Why not? Because we are going to go directly to the serial monitor and we're going to code it technically our LoRa module. Now, how we're going to do is we're going to use the AT commands and that is going to set up one of them, the receiver and one of them as the transceiver. So right now let's set up our receiver. So here is the important part. Please don't do new line here. Do both NL and CR. I swear, I almost spent 30 minutes trying to figure this out because I was just getting an error. And make sure that the 9600 baud rate, which is a, you could say the classic one, is not set up to 9600 and is set up to 115,200. So now we're choosing this baud rate because our LoRa modules is set up to default on this baud rate. So now to check if LoRa module is working correctly, we are going to type in AT and let's go. It gave us an OK. So now we know that our LoRa module is all A-OK -okay and we can continue to move forward. All right, so now we're going to set up our radio frequency to be the same. So now let's do this. Now we're, this is a command to set the radio frequency to be the same. AT plus address is equal to, you can do this one, two, three, doesn't matter. Let's keep as one. Now we're going to do this the same for both of them. All right, so let's send and boom, we got the AOK -okay sign again. Now make sure that you remember that number because we're going to use that on the transceiver end as well. Okay, so now we're going to set up our network ID. So we're going to AT plus network ID 
is equal to, and then for this one, you can put any value again. I'll put this as two because why not? So 80 plus network ID is equal to two. Let's send and we got an error. Let's see what we did wrong. <laughs> Let me just try that again. Okay, we're getting an error. Okay, there we go. I just put in a different value. That's actually quite odd. I guess just put the number that I guess it says okay on. Moving on. All right, now here's the cool thing. Each country has its own unique frequency band. Now, considering that Japan might have a different one, India might have a different one, and Canada might have a different one. Since I live in Canada, my bandwidth is going to be 915. So let's put in that. So to set up the bandwidth, we're going to again do 80 plus band is equal to put in your number which is 915 and send all right so actually it seems like these are not working so let's put in the extra six digits and there you go it worked there are lots of troubleshooting for this so i guess i'm helping you along the way so here i actually tried with different variables and it was not working so what i did i just added extra six zeros to it because that's another calculation for bandwidth so our next step will be to change this baud rate to 9600 which is a classic and the default for coding arduinos so considering that we're going to use our arduino uno to code we're going to change this baud rate from uh, this number to 9600 baud rate okay so taking it from the pdf from react so we're going to do a T I P R and then equal to 9600 and boom it worked so now we can change this baud rate to 9600 and let's type in AT just to make sure it's correct and boom we checked that's okay now just in case let's try to go back to that and put in AT and then you'll see it will give us an error you see it's not even responding I'm typing AT but it's just not responding so let's keep 9600 all right so now that we've set up for one of them now what we're going to do is we're going to switch our module so now that was let's say our receiver and now we're going to do the same for our transceiver so basically switch your LoRa module from one to the other and we're going to do the same again all right so our 3.3 goes to VDD and all that's the same all right I connected the other one as well okay now I'm gonna quickly do this so let's do AT it will give us that so let's change our default one which is uh, 115,200 to AT boom okay so it was AT plus address is equal to one and boom okay now our next step was for the network id so we're going to do 80 plus network id is equal to three now three we set up for the previous one so do the same for now and boom we got the okay now we're going to do bandwidth again so we're going to 80 plus band is equal to 915 two, three, one, two, three. So there we go we did all the communication again all right so now we have to set the baud rate to be 9600 so we're going to do 80 plus ipr is equal to 9600 enter we've done it all right congratulations we have finally connected our LoRa modules to each other for communication purposes now we don't need this part anymore so we can get rid of that and we're on to the fun part which is to connect our LoRa modules to the Arduino all right here so let's bring in our breadboard our LoRa modules and the main brains the Arduino all right, so let's put our LoRa module into the breadboard. Let's make this as a transceiver and the other one as a receiver where we'll put a motor. All right, so let's bring in the jumper wires. And all right, I added the wires. So we're going to do the same. So VDD is going to go to 3.3 volts on our Arduino because well, the module can handle 3.3 volts only. So connect the purple to the ground of the Arduino. So now here, my blue is a TXT wire and my RXT wire is the green one. So let's put our RXT on pin number 7 on our Arduino and then our TXT can be put on to number 6. Okay, so now that we've connected our module, let's actually add a twist to it and let's connect our ultrasonic sensors so that when something comes in front, it will activate and this will send the signal to our receiver where it will do a command. All right, so there you go. I added the ultrasonic sensor along with a button as well. However, we're not going to use a button. We're going to use an ultrasonic sensor for our main combination of the radio signals. So if you'd like to see, these are the connections. The trig wire, it goes to pin number eight. So that our echo wire goes to pin number seven on the Arduino. And that is is how easy this transceiver connection is. Okay, there we go. We've done our wiring for the transceiver. Now let's do the same for the receiver. And boom, here is a linear actuator that I made that is basically going to move this motor 
back and forth like that. And basically when we get the signal from one side, this should move one side and perhaps we can add something here that will do something unique. So do the same exact connection, but this is a receiver and there's literally nothing that really changes. So do everything the same. And then our TXD on this goes to number six on the Arduino and then our RXD to number seven. And boom, we did our both of the connections for the receiver and the transceiver. All right, so now let's hop onto our computer and let's start coding. All right, so this is our coding process right over here. So this is our code for the transceiver. And as you can see here, we've added a button. We've added the string that's are going to be our LoRa address that we set up before. And along with that, since there's a button as an input and also we added a ultrasonic sensor as the input, I've added the pin mode trig pin, which is then connected to number eight and our echo pin, which is the input, which is connected to number seven. But now here comes the interesting part that we We've added something new since we're using this LoRa module. We're saying that if the distance from the ultrasonic sensor is less than 20, our LoRa module is then going to send a signal to the receiver, which then it will do a specific task, which for us is to move the motor, right? So in simple English words, what we're saying here is that, hey, if the distance is less than 20, which is our ultrasonic sensor, then send a command to the receiver. And then we're over here basically saying that otherwise just keep it as it is. That means do nothing. So here, I've also added this. If you want to use a button, since that's very common for the transceiver end, you can simply just remove these. So that's a transceiver code. And now that we've sent the data, let's go to the receiver and let's see how it works like over here. And so here you can see that I've added the servo library. And then all this is kind of basic stuff. And then here we've simply done a simple setup, which is the serial monitoring. And then now here we go for the loop. Now, since you remember from our transceiving code that if the distance was less than 20, it would do this code right here. It will basically print that to this side, which will be a receiver. And then here, we've basically said that if we get that data and it's high, then move the servo 135 degrees. So that is basically what this part means. And that's basically the main idea of the LoRa. And if you have any other questions for this code or any other thing relating to this project or anything else, then just hit me down in the description down below and that's the comment section. I'll respond as fast as my LoRa module can send this signal. All right, so now that we've made it, let's do our first test and actually use this while keeping our receiver in the basement. Our transmitter all the way to the top. And now it's my time to take revenge on this guy, which is a king. So you won't be king today. Yeah, we should go. All right, here's our transceiver. So let's see if it works. All right, it's actually crazy because there's a lot of distance beneath me as well. All right, let's do it. Three, two. One. Oh my God. No way. Oh my God. I was not expecting this to be that good. Now we got to go to the park and let's try a huge radius where we'll see if it works there. We are now going to test this device over this huge field. So what better than the transceiver being over here and I'm going to take this receiver and take it one kilometer that way. And the sound's gonna be right here, which when I send the signal from all the way there, it's going to ring this and ring the whole alarm. You know what, let's see how that will be like. All right, I'm actually scared because this is gonna go loud, loud. And let's sit right here. Oh, oh my God, that was so far. That is where we came from. All the way back there, you can't even see. Okay, <laughs> let me take a breather. Are you ready? Yes. We can, we'll be able to hear the whole sound all the way from here. Okay, let's see if it works. All right, three, two, One. Testing. This is very loud. Press now to cancel test. Okay. We should be able to hear it. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire. No way! I hear it a little bit! Oh my god, that's actually crazy! Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay, we put one person to stop the alarm, so it's okay. It won't scare everyone, I guess. But oh my god, that was crazy. We are nearly two kilometers away from here. Okay, if you enjoyed, then just subscribe because why not? Otherwise, until next time. Come on, run, run.